We spend a lot of time talking, but do we actually talk about the things that matter? Have you talked to your loved ones about what happens to your organs after you die? Organ donation is not as simple as you may think. Only a small percentage of people who die can actually become donors. First, you need to die in a hospital. Organs deteriorate quickly once you die because they lack oxygen. This means they won't be healthy enough to donate if you die elsewhere. Even with this, however, there are very specific criteria that need to be met before someone can donate, with each organ having different criteria. These include a wide range of factors for both donor and recipient. A person can only donate their organs once they've been pronounced brain dead, meaning they can't think, feel, respond, or breathe independently. A diagnosis of brain death must be given by two separate doctors before the donor's organs can even be considered for transplantation. Additionally, the criteria ensure that people receiving the organs have the best chance of survival. With every donor being capable of transforming the lives of 10 or more people, it's really important that the organs are used the best they can. If you want to register to become a donor, discuss it with your family first, then go to the Donate Life website to find out more. And now, four fast facts about organ donation. The first human organ transplant took place in 1883, a thyroid transplantation by Swiss surgeon Theodor Kröher. One of the major issues is rejection of the organ by the recipient's body. This is minimised by reducing the effectiveness of the recipient's immune system. The first heart transplantation was in 1967 by Christian Barnard, a South African surgeon. And research is continuing into xenotransplantation, using animal cells or organs to transplant into humans, which could ease organ waiting lists. Want to find out more about organ transplantation? Head to our website where we have some more information. And we'll catch you right back here next week.